So yes, we got a Phantom Liberty Cyberpunk DLC trailer last night at the Game Awards. Today I want to talk more about basically the trailer itself, what we can expect. Um, I've dissected it down a little. I mean, it's hard to do because it's basically one long cinematic. There's a bit of gameplay here and there, but I think there's definitely a few shocks coming. And although this is pure speculation, nothing has been confirmed. I do think one of the main NPCs we've fallen in love with may just die or get seriously hurt within the build-up story to the Phantom Liberty DLC. Today we're getting to it all. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so when I initially covered the 2022 Game Awards uh, official teaser trailer for the Phantom Liberty, I picked up on a quick scene we see within the actual trailer of what I believe is an instance where one of the main NPCs we fall in love with may just die. Now initially I thought it was Panam, it's quite hard to tell, but having a look back through the trailer, I actually think this may be Judy. Now a quick rundown of what this uh, DLC consists of. So they introduce a brand new uh, NPC in Idris Elba known in the game as Solomon Reed. He is an FIA agent for the new United States of America. Now we team up with him to take on an impossible mission of espionage and survival. Now it's set as a spy thriller expansion and it's set in an all new district. But checking out the trailer and listening to those words closely, it does seem like we may lose one of our favorite NPCs. Now, like I said, initially I thought it may be Panam, but again, watching the trailer again, the V in the trailer is represented by a female. And we all know when it comes to romance in Judy, you need to be a female in cyberpunk. Again, I initially thought it was Panam, but it's hard to make out the screen, but it could indeed be Judy as well, which I'm actually pointing towards now. Again, this is pure speculation on my behalf, but I do love those series people, especially within a game like Cyberpunk, where we know these kind of things can happen. I mean, we lost Jackie, who I absolutely loved. So throwing Panam or Judy into that gulag wouldn't be a surprise to me whatsoever. Okay, so the point of the trailer I am talking about, you'll see on screen now. Yes. Now, when you slow it down or even pause it, you'll see that it's definitely a female hand representing the player here, but it's hard to make out who the other one is, who screams V, who gets sent flying backwards. And no doubt either dies here or seriously injured. We know it's a female, but this could be Judy or Panam. It could be a new NPC. But if they really want to build a relationship between us and this DLC, get us going, then I think it would be a character that we already know and love and build a relationship with. Now, as soon as we see this in the trailer, we hear these words from Idris Elba, that peace comes at a price and someone's always got to pay. Peace comes at a price. Someone's always got to pay. Now, obviously, this could be something completely different. It could be referring to something completely different. But the way these trailers are put together, guys, they are smart. They drop these little hints, these little teases here and there. And this is what I believe may just happen. Personally, I'd prefer Judy to die than Pan Am if one of them had to go. But this could be what's used in-game to get us to go to Solomon Reed, to go to Idris Elba, to work with him. This could be the fuel of the fire we need to help him and his endeavours. Now, like I said, this is just pure speculation. I could be completely wrong here. I probably am. I normally am. But hey, who doesn't like a good theory? But let me know your thoughts on this down below, guys. Do you think they could kill off one of the main characters in the game? I mean, they've done it before. I'm sure they could do it again. Maybe, just maybe, guys. If you romance Panam as a guy and you're playing as a male character, this could indeed be Panam that dies. If you're a female and you romance Judy, this could be Judy. Again, pure speculation on my behalf, but let me know your thoughts. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.